Hello and welcome to Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's a series that premieres every Saturday, 3pm UK time, and it's just here as like an, a virtual cafe, a virtual support group, virtual get together, chat makeup, anything you want to use it for. Um, I started it during the lockdown and what I had in mind was to bring people together to improve mental health because especially if you are living alone this time has been a lonely one and if you suffer with mental health it's made it even worse still so I just wanted to create kind of a safe place somewhere that you're not alone but anyways I am going to crack on because I apologize profusely but I have been for the last couple of days and still am in so much pain um so i've chucked a quick base on and it's not going to be as long as it usually would be so i'll just let you know what i've done i sprayed my face with the catrice prime and fine multi-talent fixing spray instead of a primer i popped on the anastasia beverly hills luminous foundation in the shade 20 22 220N. Um, I didn't use a concealer and then I went over the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter setting powder in the shade Butter and then went over with another spray of the Catrice. So you are up to date with where we are at. So I am going to just jump on with eye primer and I'm going in with the P. Louise Base Pro in the shade Rumor 02. Now, firstly, I really want to congratulate the winners um, from the giveaway. Uh, it was just amazing to be able to do that. And I really hope that you enjoy your prizes. It was a really oh, exciting, exciting, something I really loved doing is, uh, I don't think any of you realize just how much having you guys watch my videos, chat with me, and um, it has meant the absolute world to me and has just impacted my life in such, just such an amazingly positive way. So all of the prizes were posted out um, during the week. So if they are not with you already, then you can be expecting very soon. So yes, my last few days. I, in, on the one hand, I've had to switch um, who essentially issues my prescriptions to me, not signs for them, obviously the doctor does that, um, but the uh, the place I was using originally has just messed up so many times and yet again this week I was left um, without my usual strong painkillers which has had just a massive impact on just obviously my pain levels and I've had no um, energy or motivation motivation is the wrong word because i would have loved to have filmed more and i would love to be able to make karma chameleon as long as it it usually is but unfortunately i am i am struggling and uh, i managed to take a fall in my bathroom the other day i'm absolutely fine no nothing was injured apart from my pride um my knee gave way and uh i fell down um <laughs> i think it hit me quite hard because also this week i've had to fill out um a questionnaire to get financial assistance due to being unable to do much for myself and actually having to write it down 
like to really think about it and write it down in each kind of different for different things that I need help with or um, can't do at all for myself and it really it really shone the spotlight on just how much I am reliant on other people for the simplest of daily tasks and yeah that that was quite a knock because obviously I'm aware that I I can't do oh crikey I can't do as much as I used to be able to but yeah that was a shocker so let's introduce the palette so today I'm going in with the Serenity palette which obviously is the obviously of course is the collab between Annette and Menagerie Cosmetics I am so so thankful that I have this palette thank you so so much Erica you have no idea how much this means to me and how much I love it just she's beautiful first the packaging the color story just absolutely stunning so I am going to check that my primer is not creased and then I'm going to go in with Luna the lighter of the greens I'm not going to be doing much of a kind of detailed look today it is more just sitting down and just doing some makeup trying to lift moods and also I don't want to let you guys down but also I I also rely on Karma Chameleon on a Saturday chatting to you guys and I wouldn't want to miss it either so that was my decision to sit down and just film something today that I could share with you and we could chat about or we could well chat whatever you want because that's how it usually goes yeah <laughs> so guys how has your week been hopefully yours has been better than mine having said that mine wasn't all bad because uh up until Wednesday I had my mum here and she was a massive help she did so much to help out and I was just incredibly grateful also it was just nice to spend time with her and also my best friend's daughter has been around helping out with the snakes and learning about them and it's so amazing to see another young person um, interested in learning about the snakes and just trying to help dispel this horrible fear mongering that society seems to have kind of built up for snakes because in the media you generally see snakes in films where they are the bad guys they are to be feared and I I don't like that at all because that is not what snakes are about um, even the venomous snakes would much rather run and hide than hurt you and when it comes to the larger snakes when I hear these stories about how they're sizing you up and wanting to eat you this is absolutely ridiculous um i'm going to <laughs> i i hate those stories those stories make me so angry i have a seven foot boa constrictor and he is dopey tame he is my baby i've had him since he was little and i could not imagine life without him and I'm hoping that by talking a little bit about them I can kind of 
introduced to people um just show people how just how amazing they are so i think i am going to possibly do a, like a monthly meet and greet kind of thing um where it's just about chatting snakes maybe bringing on some to show obviously do some makeup but yeah let me know what your guys thoughts are because as much as you know obviously this channel is all about makeup um snakes are my other passion and educating people on just how they're not this threat that society has kind of led them to believe that also is a passion of mine so let me know what you think and uh yeah <laughs> let's have a chat so the next color i'm going in with is cocoon which is the deeper green this palette is just amazing i'm just going to take that in the outer v and just ever so slightly into the crease i don't want to uh i want to add too much yeah this palette is just amazing it's so so beautiful i'm packing it a bit on the outer lid there and I'm just going to kind of feather it into the lighter green I'm not holding oh no I'm not holding that up there that's good <laughs> so talking about passions obviously if you're here makeup is at least an interest if not a passion um but what other passions do you guys have Obviously, for me, it is the snakes, but I'd be so interested to know what what you guys turn to. I mean, is it crafty things? Is it outdoorsy things? I used to love horse riding when I was younger. But unfortunately, as an adult, um, it was just too expensive for me to be able to do. And obviously now I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get back on a horse again but I haven't ridden a horse in years and that was something which is as a child I was so passionate about yeah so there's that <laughs> that was uh, one of my others um, as a teenager I helped out in a wildlife rescue and nursing unit and I got to learn so much about so many different um, species that are native to, well at the time it was the Isle of Wight, which is right at the south of England. Obviously if you are in some other countries you have some absolutely amazing wildlife that is completely different to, to here. up a bit more and I'm just going to take the other side because it is double-ended brush I'm using I'm just going to take the other side which I used for the light green just to make sure that that's blended nicely and then go back in with this brush I'm probably just going to alternate between the two until I am happy with the blend I would usually use much smaller brushes but I just don't have I don't have the energy to sit for too long so again apologies I'm so sorry that it's not going to be the karma chameleon that it usually is 
but I hope I hope that you understand and um, that I haven't kind of upset or let anyone down because that is the last thing I would ever want to do. Right. I'm happy with that. Very, very happy. So I'm going to take just a little tiny flat brush, dip into Cocoon, the deeper green. And I'm just going to take that. Please ignore Poppy's barking. She thinks uh, someone's come to visit. It's actually a fire engine going past the house. Bless her. Since she started losing her hearing, it's been a case of anything she does hear um, is a threat and they're trying to get in to get us. So she is desperately trying to protect her pet which is adorable, um, but also annoying. Bless her. It is her most annoying trait. Probably her only annoying trait because she is such a good dog. We are so, so lucky to have her. And I, um, I hate seeing her grow old. I kind of want to give her her youth back. But that's life. Um, life isn't fair, but it's okay. It's okay. And it's okay to be angry at life sometimes because I think, well, <laughs> it's quite normal. Just find a fluffy brush. And then I'm going to go back in with, my, yeah, I'm going to go back in with Luna. I'm just going to keep this really simple. Um, just that I can finish this on camera. But yeah, that is the one downside to keeping pets is that they have a shelf life. I don't know what made me want to say that. Obviously they get old um, a lot quicker than we do. Unless you, of course you have like a tortoise or a parrot, but yeah. Fortunately, the um, Royal Pythons and the Boas have a longer lifespan, which is amazing. But at the same time, obviously, you know, it's still, your pets are always going to get old. Or there's always the risk that they will have ailments. And sometimes these things can be really hard to come to terms with. Yeah, I'm getting really deep here. What am I thinking? What am I thinking of doing? Okay, so should I go in with that? No, I'm gonna go in with more, a more precise brush. Or two more precise brushes. So for the outer edge of my lid, I am going to go into Evolution, which is the green shimmer up there. Absolutely stunning. And I'm just going to place that on the outer, going into, say, kind of the mid at an angle. I do love that you don't have to use glitter primer or anything with these shimmers. They are just so impactful all on their own. Amazing. I might have loaded up my brush a little bit too much there. But I think we're doing alright. Oh, it appears <laughs> we have another imaginary intruder. I do have to laugh, bless her. Um, any of you who are not new will have met Poppy at least once during uh, my videos. Cause she does occasionally make an appearance. Let me just double check I've got no fallout. I'm 
I'm pretty sure here because I haven't got my glasses on that I'm dusting away imaginary fallout but hey it is what it is right so for the inner part of my lid I am going in with sunbeam which is that beautiful yellow shimmer I love this shade so so much I have a hair on my brush so yeah getting back to passions etc I used to do cross stitch a lot and colouring I found that where I am such a perfectionist with stuff like that that I actually find that more um more stressful than uh, therapeutic yellow it's just absolutely stunning and look at how easily they blend together it is amazing i love these shadows so so much and i'm so hoping that menagerie start shipping to the uk again um because there's a a good couple of uh, their palettes that i would be extremely interested in getting the whale song being one but there's a few. Oh, Flight Club. I desperately want that one. Um, as much for the packaging as for the, the eyeshadows. Because their packaging is just amazing. It's another one like um, Kaleidos. Where, I don't know, there just seems to be so much thought goes into not just the eyeshadows, but also the packaging. Um I still would much rather, obviously, the eyeshadows be amazing than just the packaging. I wouldn't kind of take it as a and or kind of thing. But wow, just look at that! is such a beautiful a yellow shimmer more than likely the best yellow shimmer i have in my entire collection I love how that is looking so I'm going to quickly dust away if there is any fallout then it's being flicked away if there's not then I've just done that for nothing <laughs> which uh oh well right so back in with cocoon the deeper green I'm just going to add a touch just to make sure that this out of the matte and the shimmer are blended together again it really doesn't take much doing because these are so easy to work with so easy look at that how easy it is to do okay so next up I'm just going to quickly give my lashes a curl Again, please excuse Poppy. I don't want to be shushing her all the time because all she's trying to do is protect us. So I don't want to take that away from her. She is the sweetest dog ever. She's always had the nickname Soppy Poppy because she is super soppy always wanting cuddles she has been the best dog ever for the kids to grow up with and yeah i i will forever be grateful that poppy was brought into my life she was brought into my life bizarrely <laughs> at a time where 
I was recovering from a nervous breakdown and was unable to leave the house without huge, pa well, I say without huge panic attacks. I couldn't even open the door without having a panic attack front door. So for a while I was completely just a hermit and I would have to have people pick my daughter up and take her to school and then pick her up and bring her home. It was admitted, admittedly, luckily, um, only a handful of weeks that it was just that severe that I couldn't get out of the door because I was very, very fortunate to receive help from just a really lovely group of um, supportive the support workers, I don't know what you call them, um, but they assisted in helping me get out of the house and just start to regain just me, regain me. And as I was recovering, I was visiting a friend of mine who is more like a family member. So anyways, yes, um, I picked Poppy up during that trip it was a case of on the way home pick up everything I needed for her it was a bit of a spur of the moment I fell in love with her she came home she came home with me and it was taking Poppy for walks that actually got me back out walking like out of the house it was she couldn't have come along at a better time. It was just perfect. It was like fate. So yeah, that's how Poppy came to be in our lives. This was back when my daughter was five, just turned five. And best thing ever, best thing ever. So let's move on to liner. So in my waterline, I am going to go in with the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Prance. I don't even know why I keep needing to look because this is my favourite one of all of them and I know what it's called. But yeah, anyways, pop some of this in the waterline. Um, and Mr Fluff, our cat, um, I was looking to get an indoor cat. Um, it's where I was living. Um, it wasn't safe with the main roads around to get an outdoor cat. Um, plus I think they're the ones that seem to get homed so much quicker. And uh, yeah, so up I went to our local cat rescue, the Cats Protection League, and looked at these different cats. There were originally, when we were looking online, these two sisters and they had um, feline aids and I was going to take them in but because um, because obviously our dog left the house and come back it put them at too much risk um, of getting infections etc so I went up there and I'd seen a couple of cats and I saw Mr Fluff or Fluffy as they'd named him when he was there and he was just this complete bedraggled mess. And he was like, he just, he was like greasy fur. And I asked about him. Um, it turns out he'd had a pretty traumatic time in his first year. I would never have said he was only a year old, but he was. And he'd had such, such a traumatic time, but also he ha he was just recovering from cat flu. So they said if I wanted to meet him, then I wouldn't be able to go meet any of the others. So I was like, yep, I want to meet him. Um, I met him. He was just the sweetest, cutest little thing, but like quite, I'm not really sure what to make of everything. And so let me just get the blush before I carry on nattering. Um, so the blush I'm going in with is the She Glam Lightweight Matte Blush in the shade Tangerine. I love this. This is what it looks like. Um, 
So yeah, because obviously I had a dog, they wanted them to meet. And so I took Poppy up there and uh, just pull that forward so I can actually see what I'm doing. So I took Poppy up there to to meet them, to meet them, to meet Mr. Fluff or Fluffy as he was known at that that point and uh, they literally as soon as she jumped up to see him at his cage he came over and he was like nose to nose with her they were just Poppy was wagging her tail he was so interested he was actually more confident in going up to Poppy than he was the humans um, which was so sweet and he's just being <laughs> a challenge but a very good one because his trust in people has taken years I mean we've had him for more than 10 years and I don't think some of it has ever left him like what he went through um what that see I say human but that woman doesn't I say that woman I was told it was a woman but that's all I know obviously they don't give details of the people um I wish they did because I think the world should know about people like that you know like the paedophile register um I think they should have that for animal cruelty and then that person is known for animal cruelty and can't get pets but I don't know, that's just me. I'm quite... It, it angers me. I mean, it's always angered me. But seeing how many years it's taken to kind of repair some of the damage that this woman caused. Not all, because obviously there's physical. He's got trauma damage to the ligaments and muscles in his, his legs. So he's he walks a bit funny and the more tired he gets, his feet face outwards and... He can't be outdoors because he can't jump up high or he's scared of everything that comes at him flies ants so yeah he's an indoor cat let me pop that down and for highlighter i am going in with the soph x revolution glow highlighter palette and i have the cookies and cream one and I'm going to go in with this one because this one was more blinding. So that's my only reason. <laughs> wow, that's more pigmented than I remember. And uh, so, yeah, that's kind of. I don't even know how I got onto the story of uh, Mr. Fluff and Poppy, but that's how they came into my life. And both of them have just had the most just wonderful impact on well, all of our lives they're both very much loved family members and like friends and family that come round not that anyone's been really coming round for the past well every year really now thanks to good old covid but yeah Obviously, I don't go out because of obvious reasons. <laughs> we're not going to go into. But yeah, so that's. That's that's that. <laughs> oh, my word. I am. I am struggling to think straight because I'm in so much pain, <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. So for the brow bone highlight, I'm going to go in with the other one the the one that looks lighter but I don't even know if it is I think they're just slightly different formula maybe who knows and I'm just going to pop a bit of that up under my brow just to highlight there am I actually in frame I think so yeah just a bit under each brow and then also a bit on the inner corner I 
Yeah, I do really like these highlighters. I know that Revolution are generally known for making pretty good highlighters. But yeah, I've, I like these a lot. I don't know whether it is a different formula to the usual one or whether it's just obviously the colour it's in makes it look better. I don't know. If you know, then yeah, let me know. <laughs> Anyways. So that is that. What's left to do? Lips. So for lips, I'm going in with the Sofix Revolution Duo, the um, lip pencil and the lip balm. I have it in the shade Candy Icing, or them, um, which unfortunately it doesn't appear to be anywhere on the actual products, on the components, what shade they are. So I've kept the box and I just keep them in this so that I always know. Yeah, I really like these, and I think it's just going to go with the look. So yeah, I'm not just lining my lips, I'm also colouring colouring them in a bit. Yeah, I do. I do like this lip pencil actually. It's uh, it's creamy without being too creamy. And then the lip balm. I love these little components. Love them. And oh, this is so comfortable. It's unreal. Does that go? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think that will do. So again, apologies, it's not a long one. I I will hopefully be back to my normal self this coming week. Fingers crossed, um, provided my tablets arrive today like they are meant to. What is the time? Oh, that may have been them arriving at the door because I'm pretty sure I just heard our door close. Anyways, so, so I'm going to stop rambling and uh, let you all get on with uh, the rest of your days. I hope, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you've been here in the live chat, thank you so, so much. I appreciate you all so much. And uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a like, thumbs up. It really helps me out if you are new around here. If you love colourful makeup, if you love supporting indie brands, if you want to find some amazing cruelty free brands then this is the place to be and obviously every Saturday there's the live chat along with Karma Chameleon, Makeup for Mental Health and there's just always the most wonderful people in there to chat to so yeah if you're new it usually is a lot longer than today. Um, yeah, I've already said multiple times I'm in too much pain. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. If you're new and you, you want to see some more, then please hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that YouTube notifies you of my uploads. So I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.